In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import an IIF file into QuickBooks Online using Z-Axis. So first off, we'll connect to our QuickBooks Online company file. Authorize Z-Axis to connect. Next, click on the Import tab and browse to where your IIF file is saved. Z-Axis will open that file and display the contents of that in this preview panel. Next, we're going to create a mapping. Select the transaction type we want to import, in this case an invoice. I'm going to go through and map the QuickBooks Online field to the corresponding column in your IIF file. We don't need to map all the fields, but I'm just going to map the mandatory ones that will create the invoice in QuickBooks Online for us. Finally, we'll give that map a name and we'll save it so we can use it on subsequent imports. So once the mapping's been applied, we can see only the data that will be imported directly into QuickBooks Online. You'll also notice that we've done some translations here. So we've added a function here to translate some of the values in the IIF file to the supported values that QuickBooks Online expects, such as the word tax and the sales tax code. So when we're ready, click on import and Z-Axis will pass that file, validate it and import it directly into QuickBooks Online. If an error occurs, it will show you a message of why the transaction import failed. And here we have a status that one has been imported. Now, if we go to QuickBooks Online, we can review that transaction. So there we can see the detail of the transaction that we imported from the IIF file directly into QuickBooks Online.